Seriously? You're gonna put all that oil on your head. You know that's right. Lavender. Melinda likes her men to shine. But your focus, we need to use this date to figure out the real relationship between Melinda and Jay. Right. All I gotta do is get her to admit that she's secretly dating him. And I'll do most of the talking, since obviously she's way more into me. Please, her heart is bleeding for me, Sean. My lady's shoe didn't open. She doesn't even sure what your name is. You have a girlfriend. Shh. Real life, not on TV. Hello, Melinda. Oh, thank, thank you for you. that. Something's weighing on you. Wow. You are so intuitive, Sean. Yeah, I guess the pressure of picking the right bachelor is just causing me a lot of stress. Believe me, I get it. Is it possible that there's someone else? Someone you're involved with in the nighttime? So, may I cut in here? This is a taco burrito conversation, not shows. <laughs> Excuse me, Sean. This is so dumb. May I propose a toast? Please. To all the possibilities of things we can get into without Sean or anybody else. <laughs> there isn't anyone else, is there? Maybe someone rotund? I, I don't. Cheers. All right, buddy, I'm cutting in. I just got here. Get out of here. Let me add to that toast the following question. How many guys have you slept with since we started shooting this show? He's an idiot. I'm cutting back in. Can't cut into a cutting. You cut into my cutting. We're already mid cut in. I can't believe you right now. Well, that's your problem. Would you give us a moment, please, Melinda? Excuse me. You're doing it all stupid. Oh, man, you don't know what stupid is. You do ask how many, how many dudes she slept with. It's a perfectly legitimate question when you're on a date. Oh, no, it's not. Sure. No, it's not. You need to go back and be to play Hamlet. You're like Ryan Gosling. No. He's singing no. with a ukulele and blue valentine. No, no, That's no, who you, you are. are. I use an obscure reference on me. Forget that. Fine. Forget that. I'm Fine. right here. I ain't going back out there. I ain't going back out there either. Fine. 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 <laughs> are you kidding me? All right, let's just, let's reset for the fondue segment. Fondue? I hear that. What the hell is going on with you guys? It's like you're more into each other than you are into me. Okay, look, that's that's fair, and and I apologize for Gus's behavior. My it, behavior. It's juvenile, and it's not very likable, <laughs> is it? Highly unlikable. Wow. But answer is this: Why have you been sleeping with Jay? What? I'm not sleeping with Jay. We saw you kissing behind the pool. No, no, Jay was just showing me how to sell the romance on camera, as he calls it. It was just a. Rehearsal. I felt really silly about the whole thing, but I didn't actually kiss him. Wait, were you spying on me? Gus was. What? I was busy saving Danny's life. I will punch you in the face, Sean. It's true. Wait, what? You saved Danny's life? I did what anybody else would have done. Okay, guys. Um, guys, that was um, that was really good. Really good energy, and um, maybe just just not as much pushing. Sorry about that. Got, got it. Gus is prepared it's... to pay for all the preferrals. Must be out your damn mind. No, no, guys, guys, not necessary. Jay's got this, this show insured to the roof. I mean, literally, you could break the roof and Jay'd get a new roof. Huh. Okay, look, did I hit on Melinda? Yes. Guilty. Huh? Take me away. But if you actually think that I'm killing off my own contestants one at a time so that I can have her to myself, I mean, that's... that's crazy. It does sound a little crazy. You're free to go. Thank you. One more question. Yeah. Do you have an insurance policy on the show? Uh, yes, I do. I'm a businessman. And that means all of your contestants are insured as well. I suppose they are. Correct me if I'm wrong here, but this is all your own money tied up in the show, right? <sighs> yes, this is all my money tied up in the show. Money that you will never see. Uh -huh. Why? I, I don't understand. Oh, well, let me see if I can make this a little clearer for you. Sabotaging your own show is the only way you can dig yourself out of this money pit. We're gonna need to see that insurance policy. Wow. <laughs> Look at you two, Mr. and Mrs. Policeman. I hate to burst your bubble and wipe those smiles off your faces, but I've sold this show to NBC. So why would I sabotage that? NBC, huh? Yeah. Wow, that is just super impressive. Mm. Who's your contact over there? Because my old neighbor Jen's in legal affairs, and maybe they know each other. 